Greetings all, so the devious monkey here. Okay, so you know me, full speed ahead, and I have already broken everything down, figured out what's going, figured out how much I want for it, figured out that KEH isn't giving me enough for it, and I haven't heard back from Adorama. So, doesn't matter. These are all gonna be private sales. I'm gonna put them up on the forums and get what I get for it. I have already ordered the Sony a7C camera and the 16 to 35 f4 OS lens. That's pretty much going to be my filming setup. And I will probably, I don't know, occasionally use the Rode Wireless Go. Problem is, is that I have used this setup so much that the battery life is already starting to suck. And whilst the receiver, for some reason, will last a hell of a lot longer than the than this part I, I don't know why they because they both get turned on at the same time they both get turned off at the same time but yet this is will go down markedly faster than that so that just means one less thing to have to plug in so i will go back to my trusty movo vxr10 microphone and then i don't have to worry about power it's going to be the filming camera, and I'll show you everything that I've done now. As you can see, I broke down the center rig. I mean, this is what's left of it with this. This was also plugged into the side of the cage. So I had the A6600 in the cage with the handles. I also had this attached to it, and this is what was holding the light. And then I also had the Ninja 5 on top of it. And then, of course, it was on this plate. There's what was holding the cables on the side. Um, and all that was all sitting on this, which of course then had the mic plugged into it, which had the battery power plugged into it for the Z battery, and this powers the Ninja. And all that was all set up right here. And then of course, you know, if I'm gonna go mobile, then I have the big battery, which goes in right there and powers all that shit. So right now the light's sitting here, uh, all the rest of the stuff is set up correctly. Now you can see I have all the boxes for the Sigma lenses, one box for one camera, the 18 and 105 original lens. Here are the two cameras. I also have the two power little bricks and the cables. And then I have all of my lenses that are going as well. End of an APS-C era, right? I don't know when I'm getting the camera and the lens. I ordered it I ordered it last night and realized that I may have messed something up. Actually, Yankee Cowboy pointed out that when I showed him a, a picture of the, of the receipt and I told him that I had ordered the A7C with the silver on the top and he's like, um, dude, no you didn't, you ordered the black one. And I'm like, what are you talking about? And I looked and I went by the picture on the screen, and it was a silver one, but if you read in the description, it was black. And I was like, ah, oh, shit, I wanted the silver one. I'm like, okay, whatever, it's just a color. And then I started watching a bunch of videos last night, and I was almost wanted to change my mind about the lens. And instead of getting the 16 to 35 first, I thought maybe I'd get the 20 millimeter 1.8G lens. Weather sealed, you know, lower light, and I went to the site and it was on back order. So that decision was made for me because I was going to call Focus Camera where I bought this shit uh, this morning and tell them, hey, you know, I made a mistake. I thought I was buying the silver one. Can I get it changed to black? Oh, and can I change the lens? So I didn't change the lens. I kept it all the same, but I did call them to say that I preferred the silver one. And the guy looked up the order and he said, you did order the silver one. And I was like, yeah, but in the description, it says black. And he looked and he goes, yeah, that's kind of confusing. He goes, I mean, the picture shows silver. I realize I don't know why it says black in like the, the basic description. But then if you actually click into the package of all the shit that comes with it, because I got one of those packages that includes all kinds of extra shit that I'll never use. It does say that I got the silver one. So, so I'm getting the silver one, I think. Who knows what will show up. And I don't know when it's going to show up. But I'm guessing it should be here by the end of this week. So in the meantime, I also ordered a cage. I did not get the small rig cage. Because it didn't have Ari holes 
at the top. I just bought this handle for the A6600 cage, which you can see has the Ari holes right there. So when I looked at the A7C cage, it doesn't have Ari holes. And that is the kind of shit that drives me crazy. Like there's just no uniformity in anything. So I ended up getting the Ulanzi UU rig cage, which sits up a little higher, doesn't sit flush, but it has Ari holes and everything else was, was totally cool. And it's not like I haven't used their stuff before. So I said, screw it, I'll just get that. So I ordered that. Of course, a screen protector for the screen because screen protectors go on everything the second it comes out of the box. And, and then I forgot until today that I didn't order a UV filter for the front of the new lens. So I ordered a Freewell Magnetic, I think it's 72 millimeter UV filter for the front of that 16 to 35. And again, don't wanna hear it about, oh, it ruins the, the fit, but, but I don't care about any of that shit, it's to protect the lens. And it goes on every one of my lenses. So I ordered that today. The cage and the screen protector will be here tomorrow. The filter will be here Wednesday. Don't know when the camera and the lens are gonna get here. I will go out of my mind if they aren't here by Thursday or at the very latest Friday. And there's no reason they shouldn't be because I ordered it yesterday and they're only in Jersey. So yeah, that's what I did. You know me, I make up my mind, I go. So that's gonna be that. Then I'm gonna be selling all of this other stuff here and getting rid of that and moving forward. Then I will be strictly full frame. Filming full frame still pictures and full frame lenses. And I have already told Yankee Cowboy to absolutely beat me if I try to sell any of this shit. So again, I am going to be a full frame shooter in all respects. All my lenses will be full frame stuff. No weird cameras, no crop sensors, no micro four thirds, none of that shit. It's all gonna be full frame. And then I'm going to only get lenses that I'm gonna keep. So no weird experimental lenses or no doubling up of stuff. Once I get that 16 to 35, that at this point will sit on the new A7C for filming, but it will also be used for the A7R4 should I need to have a wider field of view than my 24 to 70, although I'm pretty happy with that. I will probably, because I want something that's gonna be you know, faster, I, I don't see any reason why I won't be picking up the 20 millimeter 1.8 G lens. And I will use that for filming a bulk of my stuff on the A7C. That's not gonna be for pictures, still pictures. It's strictly gonna be for filming when I need to go lower light and have, you know, just a, it's not even a wider field of view because the 16 is, is wider, but it's only F4. So this will take me down to 1.8. I won't need to be any faster than that in filming. And I'm gonna go just with that. But that's not gonna happen for a while because that lens is hard to find right now because it's so popular and it's sold out on most of the sites that I went to and I don't need to buy it right now anyways. I'm gonna have to learn about this A7C and get a grip on all that. And I gotta, you know, mate all this stuff back up again. Now, one thing that I am going to change is that I'm going to make it not built out in a total cinema rig when I get it. It will be in the cage, but no handles, no anything. I'm gonna have it so that I can pop it on here if I need to film in studio or I can just take it off and run and gun with it. It's not gonna be built out into this gigantic rig because I'm gonna be taking it everywhere with me like all my other shit. I still stand by this Insta360 for a lot of my run and gunning and walking around because it's just so light. I think it looks great and provided the audio is working correctly, the audio sounds good. But that's all I got for you today. I just wanted to talk about what, what I did over the past 24 hours and what I'm gonna be doing with all this gear. I would love to sell the cameras and the lenses and all this shit to you. But if you're not in the lower 48 and you don't have cash on hand, it's not gonna happen. I am not shipping this stuff out of the continental United States, the lower 48, because it is a massive pain in the ass and it's too expensive. And I'm not gonna haggle on all that kind of pricing and all that kind of stuff. In fact, I'm not gonna haggle on prices at all. You're gonna pay me what I want for it or I'm just gonna keep it. So that's it. That's all I got for you today. If you have any comments or suggestions, put it in the comments down below. As always, thanks for joining me. Like, subscribe, and all that shit. And remember, kids, forward and up.